Hey guys, it's Peter Harmich here again. I'm just feeling to share a little something that God's been ministering to my heart about in the last, probably during the during the course of the last, I would say, last couple of days. Started, um, I was starting to pray. I felt to start praying about getting back in this, about about the um, possibility of getting back into doing some things that I was doing bef that I've been I was doing before, but for some reason. For one reason or another, I stepped away from some some of those things, and um, whether basically whether or not, or but, but usually if because there's some things I felt God leading me to move move away from for a time to either because I just didn't feel the inspiration to do do certain things anymore, or that God was leading me into leading me to focus on some other things. But God started really speaking to me some things as I was taking my dog Remy for a walk the other night. Um, I, I was, con again, praying about what uh, about certain things that I was doing that I'm not doing now. And like in the realm of do of certain things to reach out to people, minister to people in a, diff in a different and unique way and stuff like that. Um, um, as I was praying. And some of those things that just kind of let fall by the wayside for one reason or another. Um, anyway, as I was walking my dog, got first thing God spoke to me was, it's time. And I'm like, hmm, okay, God, what do you mean by it? What, what do you mean by it's time? Then he said to me, it's time, it's time to it's time to get back in the game. When God spoke that to me, it got my attention. It really it really spoke. It really spoke to me, and I believe God's speaking to a lot of other people that it's time to get back in the game. Now, as I was kind of thinking about this, I was pr I, and praying. Um, God led me to a couple of a uh, couple of uh, couple of passages in the Bible. I'm going to start by reading Ecclesiastes chapter three, verses one through eight. It says, "To everything there is a season." A time for every purpose under heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck what is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to gain and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. Basically, that, those verses basically, there's a time and a purpose and a season for everything, everything that we do. We're, everything that we do. Whether I say whether anything. Just think about it for a second with me. Anything you can think of. There's this time and a purpose and a season for everything that we do. Whether our jobs, whether there's certain things we do in minute in the realm of ministry, whatever. But there's gonna there there'll be times that God will say to us, it's time it'll be time to step back from it'll be time to step back from some from some th some things. But there is also a time that God may have us may speak to us and say, Hey, it's time to get back and get back into it. A lot of you might be wondering when I say it's time to get back in the game. Some of you might wonder, well, Pete. What do you mean by that? I'm going to tell you. God, as I was praying about, as I was praying, as God was speaking to me, this is this message. This message is going to preach to me, just as much as it's going to. I believe it's going to preach to other other people. Okay. Um, when God spoke, when God started speaking to me, God speak, spoke to me that there's a there's a lot of people that have get that have gifts, talents anointings and callings that they're not using or they're allowing to lie dormant the time for the time for letting things lie dormant is over it's time to get back in the game and forgot for everybody that's that what that for everybody to step up and use those things that god's given you for his glory and to minister to others in this crazy and unprecedented time that we're living in, people need people need hope, and more importantly, they need Jesus. 
The way people can be given that hope and shown the love of Jesus is by us as believers getting off of the bench and getting back into the game and using what God's, God's given us to minister to people for him. Um, I'm going to go to one, one, final, one, one final verse. Verse um, passages, passage of verses. Um, a lot of you who read the Bible quite re quite regularly, you'll know you'll know you'll know this story. I'm going to be reading Matthew chapter 25. I'm going to be reading verses 14 through 30. So here we go. It says, "For the kingdom of heaven is like a man traveling to a far country, who called his own servants and delivered his goods to them." And, and to one he gave five talents, another two, and another one. To, to each according to his own ability. Immediately he went on a journey. Then he, then he who had received the five talents went and traded, them, traded with them and made another five talents. And likewise, he who had, who had received two gained two more, two more also. But he who had received the one went and dug, dug it in the ground and hid his Lord's money. After a long time, the Lord of those servants came and settled accounts with them. So he who had received five talents came and brought five other talents, saying, Lord, you delivered me five, five talents. Look, I have gained five more talents besides them. His Lord said to them, Well done, good and faithful servant. You are faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. He also, he also who had received two talents came and said, Lord, you delivered me to me two talents. Look, I have gained two more talents besides them. His Lord said to them, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have, been a, you have been faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. Then he who had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew you to be a hard man, reaping where you have not sown, and gathering where you have not scattered seed. And I was afraid, and went and hid your talent in the ground. Look, there you, ha th there you have what is yours. But his Lord answered and said to him, You wicked and lazy servant, you, you knew that I reap where I have not sown, and gather where I have not scattered seed. So you ought to have deposited my money with the bankers, and coming and at my coming I would receive would receive my own back with interest. Therefore, take the talent from him and give it to the one who has ten talents. For, ev for to everyone who has, who has, more will be given, and he will have abundance. But from him who does not have, even what he has will be taken away and cast the unprofitable servant into the outer darkness. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Um, the main thing I want that that I really want to bring home here regarding this 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 passage is like God's given each every one of us talents, gifts, and put a, put a calling and a purpose and anointing on each and every one of our lives to re, to minister to people. And we need to use those. We need to use those talents, because this what the way things are going in this world. There's so there's so much craziness going on. People need hope. People need hope. People need a word of encouragement, and pe more impo most importantly, they need the Lord. And and if we're we can't just we can't be sitting on we can't be what can't be sitting basically sitting right bench and say oh oh I can't oh how can God how basically think of, think of, think about think how could God use me I used to think that think that for a long time that like oh I'm just this I'm just this lowly piece of garbage that got that God couldn't you got there's no way God could use and and. I just the Lord just really helped me to realize, hey, I can I can use you. Don't ever think that you, I can't use you, but um, and we all every, every single one of us, God's given a very unique, and unique and awesome and special gift to be able to minister to people, minister to some. I'll be able, I'm in, I can minister to some people that the next person can't, and vice versa. Because of the, the the special and unique gifts that God's put in each and every one, put in my heart and and, and the hearts of other other people. It's that's it, that's the cool thing about God is like He created us unique and He create He's created us with unique gifts and talents, 
and callings and anointings for the ultimate purpose to bring people to him and giving people hope. We we all people need hope. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to close this message. I know this is a little more, a little shorter than some of my other some of my other videos, but just wanted to share that, I mean, it's just short and to the short and to the point, and then I just really just felt to share that. Father God, I just thank you, Lord God, for giving for giving me this message, Lord God. You've been speaking to me. You've been speaking to me personally about getting back into the game regarding certain certain things that that I was doing in the doing in the past in the realm of 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 some certain things to um to uh reach out to people and have an outlet to uh to minister to people and I a lot and Lord you kind of led me away from some of those things but Lord you're start you're you're starting to stir those things up again Lord God and I thank you for it and Lord God there's so many people that, there's so many people that have watched this video Lord there's so there's so many gifts so many talents so many anointings so many callings so many so much purpose, Lord God, you place inside pe inside people, Lord God. Help us, help us all to use those things, use those things that you've given us, Lord God, to bring people hope, bring people hope, bring people encouragement, bring bring life and positivity, not not and not not have to, and um, in the midst of all this crazy time that we're living in, Lord God, there was so much, so much craziness, so much. Hysteria, so much fear, so much negativity. Lord God, I just pray, Lord Jesus, you would that you would help all of us, Lord, to stand up, get off the bench, and use the use those things you've given you've given us, Lord. I thank you, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God. And Lord, I just don't want to. I just don't want to. I don't want to. I hope I'm. I hope I didn't come off too hard. Lord, Lord, this is something I'm very passionate about. Like, Lord, bringing, pe let, showing people, hey, you, you are important. You are special. You are gifted. God's given each and every person a gift, Lord. And Lord, you want them to use it, Lord. Lord God, I thank you, Lord Jesus. I just pray you'd help, help all of us, Lord God, to use those things you've given us to minister to others. And more importantly, bring, bring glory and honor and praise to you, Lord. In your precious name, amen. As I was praying, I just felt like maybe in this in this little in this little video, I mean, I may come off may come off a little bit hard. May this may seem a little hard. Like, hey, get off! Basically, basically, come on, get off the bench. Get off the bench. It's, I'm not. I'm not. Smack, I'm not. I don't want to. I'm not bashing anybody. That's not my style. Never will be. But I just felt felt. It's like so many people that God's put so much inside of them, and the God wants us to you wants us to use those use those things that He's given us to minister to people, and I just really felt to really encourage everybody with that. And before I end this video, I just want to say if anybody anybody out there who who watches this video would like prayer for anything. Um, please either like like this post, comment comment on the post, or send me a message here on Facebook, and I'd be more than happy to pray for you. Thanks thanks very much for watching, and pray this pray this message ministers to you and speaks to your heart, and um, pray for all God's best for each and every one of you. Take care. God bless. Bye bye.